Hey there, it's me Eden. Welcome to Cross-Dressing Adventure Stories. Today I'm going to share with you, Cross-Dressing Adventure Stories called, Office Colleague Caught Me in Airport, Part 6. So, if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing and be a part of our inclusive community. The food came and they stopped talking. After they were done and gone, they stood in front of Astrid's car. Martina hugged her friend tenderly, I don't know yet which way I will go. But I know I want you close to me. Then she kissed Astrid gently and Astrid returned the kiss. They kissed more and more intensely until Astrid suddenly broke up, let's go to my house, stay with me tonight, my sweetheart. Martina nodded and gave her another kiss before she let go of Astrid. They got in the car and drove to Astrid's apartment. As soon as the apartment door slammed shut, Astrid took off her dress, opened Martina's blazer and pressed herself tightly against her. Martina dropped her blazer on the floor, stripped off her skirt and pulled Astrid closer to her body. They kissed passionately again and at that moment everything around them didn't matter. Astrid pushed Martina into the bedroom and they fell on the bed, hugging each other. Astrid turned Martina onto her back and sat down on her stiff, pee without any further foreplay. Then she immediately rode wildly and a short time later came loudly moaning to orgasm. Astrid enjoyed her climax for a long time, so that Martina also brought herself to the climax with gentle movements. Astrid simply lay down on Martina and snuggled up to her. It only took a few breaths for her to fall asleep. Martina took her friend in her arms and pulled the duvet over them both. Then she fell asleep too. The next morning Astrid was lying next to Martina, but still cuddled up tightly. Martina had to get her bearings first, but quickly remembered the night with Astrid. She, too, was just waking up and apparently wasn't sure who she was lying next to. Martina kissed her tenderly and Astrid returned the kiss with a lot of passionate fire. She immediately started stimulating Martina again, which she was happy to let happen to her. This time Astrid turned onto her back and pulled Martina over her. Martina penetrated her lover in a very classic position. The excitement quickly increased for both of them and they came almost simultaneously. Martina would have liked to cuddle with Astrid, but she refused, sorry, sweetie, but we have to get ready and go to the office. You can again tonight okay? With feigned disappointment, Martina turned to the side, if it absolutely has to be. Astrid gave her a kiss and said, yes, because you surely still want to be yourself, put yourself back into half-man mode, don't you? From here I will only let you out as Martina. Martina looked at her in a little astonishment, why, I've got everything with me. She pointed to her suitcase. Astrid shook her head vigorously, no, sweetie. As I said yesterday, I'm with Martina and therefore I want only Martina to enter and leave my apartment. Martina smiled and got ready as a woman. They had a short breakfast together and then left Astrid's apartment. How are you getting home now? Astrid asked. Martina had also suppressed the whole time that she still had her own car at the company, because she was still in the office before departure yesterday. So, for better or worse, she had to drive to the office with Astrid and then quickly home. She felt queasy because they would be in the parking lot in the middle of rush hour and Martina always parked prominently. She briefly considered taking a taxi home and then using public transport to go to the office, but Astrid made the decision for her, so to speak, hey, sweetie, then you really come out right away. Come get in. As if in a trance, Martina got into Astrid's car and they drove off. On the drive, Martina struggled with whether she should hopefully drive home unseen and change her clothes or whether she should just stand by Martina with confidence and go to the office like that. Just two street corners before the large parking lot, Martina almost only registered the company cars of the colleagues around her. 
This made her initial courage disappear and she sank lower and lower in the seat. Unfortunately, Astrid's polo was too small to be completely submerged. Of course, Astrid noticed Martina's fear and didn't stop next to her car, but on the other side of the parking lot. Hey, what are you doing? You always park over there on the other side. Please drive as close to my car as you can, protested Martina, but Astrid only smiled warmly at her. So the last step with me up to the office is only very small, sweetheart, she breathed and kissed her lips like a breeze. Then she got out and grabbed her bag from the back seat. Martina didn't dare because a few cars were coming again. Astrid came around, opened Martina's door and almost forcefully pulled her out of the car. Seconds later it was locked and Astrid only opened the trunk with the radio key. Martina took out her suitcase and handbag and then stood behind Astrid's car, unsure. At that moment, a colleague who had worked in her department before and who knew both of them well came around the corner on foot and then went straight to Astrid. Hello Astrid, long time no see, how are you, he asked friendly. Then he looked at Martina, who felt like her face was like a grilled tomato, so red and hot. Martin? Respect, I almost didn't recognize you like that, he said when he recognized Martina. Astrid stood in for Martina, whose throat was tight, Martina, dear Heiko, Martina. Heiko nodded, yes, of course, sorry. It's still like that. Forever, he gestured at Martina from head to toe, or just part time. Astrid was faster again, let's see, we don't agree yet. I think it would be nice forever, Martina only wants part-time. He nodded and said, well then, enjoy the times. Enjoy your day. Then he left the two women and went into the building. Astrid wanted to follow him, but Martina held her back, are you sure that I should do that? I mean, without warning, like a shock? Astrid nodded vigorously, Martina, to be honest, you have already prepared it. For weeks you have been wearing trousers in women's cuts and sometimes blouses from the women's department. The only thing missing was that you take the last step. Why are you concerned? Martina gulped, was that so obvious? Astrid nodded. I've already talked to Katya and Simone about it and they both thought it was great that you don't fixate on classic men's fashion. And both assumed that you would come in a skirt or dress at some point. So today is the day. Although Astrid tried to encourage her, her stomach was queasy. It wasn't just the female colleagues that Martina had to face, but also her male colleagues. And Martina expected more rejection from them. Without waiting to see how Martina behaved, Astrid pulled her by the arm to the main entrance. They had hardly entered the entrance hall when the first colleague came around the corner and headed for the elevator like the two of them. Good morning Frank, how are you? Of course, Astrid spoke to him straight away. Martina would have preferred to sunk into the ground and try to turn away so as not to have to give any explanations, directly in the well-frequented entrance area. That's all for today. See you in the next video, till then take care and be safe. Oh yes, please like, subscribe and share your feedback. You can support my work at buymeacoffee.com slash crossdressingstories. It will help me to keep going.